Hello everyone, welcome to Lesson 3 of Objective-C on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be introducing the concept of classes in Objective-C. Classes can play a pretty key role in how Objective-C works, and their how you create classes are uh, pretty interesting. Basically, what a class is, is it contains, um, basically it's a container for a certain object that we might want to create. So for example, we might create a class called the rectangle class. And the rectangle class might hold different information pertaining to a rectangle. So height, width, maybe area as well. Those might be some different variables that we'd use in that class. And then there might be some methods as well. So setting a new height or setting, you know, different things like that. Setting new width and maybe a method to calculate the area and return that different methods that we might use that pertain to that class. So we're going to get into all about classes in just a second, but uh, before I do, I just would like to say that um, there are two different ways of going about creating classes, um, one of which is to create the class in the, um, uh, the main function, not inside the main function, but in the same file that the main function is on. But uh, I prefer to separate the classes into different files, and it makes the code a little more readable and understandable to other people. So um, that's why we're going to separate our classes into separate files. So to do this, we're going to go up to the Action button, hit Add New File, and under Mac OS X Cocoa class, we're going to go to Objective C the object ah Objective C class file, and uh, under subclass of, we're just going to leave it as NS object because that's what we want, and I'll explain more about NS object in just a second. So go ahead and create, or hit the next button, not create the next button. Um, now we get to label our class, and I'm going to call mine rectangle, and you can call yours whatever you want, but we're going to be creating the rectangle class, so that's why I'm labeling it rectangle. And also take this checkbox for also create rectangle.h because we want to create the header file as well. As a matter of fact, that's what we're working in for this tutorial. So you're going to want to have that checked. So go ahead, finish. And as you can see, we get two different files over here. One's our rectangle.h header file, and one is the rectangle.m file. And basically, .m is just the Objective C extension for its code. If you guys watch the um, beginner C tutorials, you'll know that um, all those files ended in .c, but we, um, for Objective C, we use .m for the Objective C file extension. So that's just what the .m extension means. But for this for this tutorial, we're going to be working in the rectangle header file. So uh, yeah. So anyway, here's our rectangle.h file. You can go ahead and delete the comments if you don't even care to have them in because I don't anyway, and it just sort of distracts from what we're doing right now. So um, anyway, this is where all the main code comes from right here. So to start out, we have a pound import to our Coco header file, and this just brings in important things that we're going to use for our at interface file, and different things that um, we're going to need to use, such as things that NS object might use, and uh, some things like that. So it's uh, pretty much it's necessary to keep the pound import in for this. So let's actually just delete this at interface file and let's start from the very beginning. Let's go at interface and as you can see Objective-C, or I should say Xcode, nicely fills in the automated at interface uh, sort of template. So the first thing here is called class and this just means our class name. So our class name is going to be rectangle because we want to create the rectangle class. Next on our list here is this thing called the superclass, which simply means um, a class that might be above our rectangle class. So for example, our rectangle might belong to the class of shapes, since shapes kind of encompasses a bunch of different shapes. So we might want to borrow information from a shapes class. But um, what we are doing in this example is we are borrowing information from a different class and that class is NS object. And basically what this means is NS object contains different information that we're going to want to use later on in our um, at, inter or at implementation file, which is the next tutorial. And uh, this NS object will give us different methods that we can use 
and we can change them for a rectangle class, but it also allows us to use any method that is in this NS object class. So we're allowed to inherit any information from this class. And it's uh, extremely useful and it's also a necessary step. So that's why you throw in NS object. And we'll get to uh, more about NS object in the next tutorial. So anyway, um, here we have these two curly braces and you can put these wherever you want. You can leave it up here if you want or you can leave it down here, it doesn't matter. Uh, pick the way you want to do it. And what it, all that really does matter is between these two curly braces, we have to declare any instance variables that we're going to create. And by instance variables, I just mean variables that our rectangle class is going to use. So, for example, we might want one for an integer of height. We also might want one for an integer of width. And that's as simple as it goes. So there we have two different attributes that would describe our rectangle class and two things that we can now use within the class. So um, that's just where you declare both your, or all of your instance variables. So now this section down here is where we create our methods and all of the methods in Objective-C, uh, well methods just look quite a bit different in Objective-C than they do in most languages, but um, it is, it's, it might be hard at first, but once you catch on to how it really works, it's not that bad. So uh, to start a method, we're going to we're always going to be using the minus sign, at least for the most part. Uh, that's the reason we use the minus sign is because we can also use the plus sign. But uh, there's two different types of methods in Objective C. One since in one is an instance method which we're using, and another is a class method, which um, they they differ slightly in how they work, but Basically, for everything that we do, we're going to be using instance methods, and that's just about all you really need to know. Um, we'll get into both of those types later on, but instance methods are what we're going to want to use. So, um, just for now, when you're creating a method, just put out the minus sign, and that's how you're going to start your method. So, from here, we uh, inside these curly braces, we create um, the return type that we're going to be using. So if we wanted to calculate the area and we wanted to return the area value, we might put an integer in there, and that would represent the, um, it would allow us to return the area that our function calculates, or our method. And that uh, would do that, and then if we wanted to make it void, that means that our function or method is just going to uh, execute whatever code is in it, and it won't return any new information. So if you uh, watch the beginner C tutorials, which you should have if you haven't already, then uh, you probably already know all about return types. So I'll leave it at that, and we're going to be making a set height method here. So we're going to leave it as void because we don't want to return any new information. So we're just going to call it set height, and that is as simple as a method would get. But that means that we don't have any parameters in it. And to set a new height, we need at least one parameter, one for the new height, and that's it, I guess. We would need a parameter for the new height so that in our code we can specify what a new height's going to be, and then that function or method, we uh, will use the parameter that we stick in there, and then it will assign height, that new parameter value. So to create new parameters in Objective-C, we use a colon, such as that, and then we have to define what the type of the parameter is and then the name of the parameter. So the type that we want is an integer because we're setting a new integer to our height. And then we could just call it new height. So simple enough, not too bad. And now let's just do one for the set width as well. And there we go. So there we've just created two new methods, one for setting the height when for setting the width, and again, we aren't we aren't defining what these methods do. We're just do, we're just giving uh, an introduction to what they look like. And if you did watch the C tutorials, this is like a function prototype. So um, that is just how we work that. But there, um, when you do create methods in Objective C, it does change if you have more than one um, if you have more than one uh, parameter. Sorry, I'm trying to think of the names here. And if you have more than one parameter, then you have to change up how this works. And it looks a little different than usual. So let's make another one. And we're going to make this to set the height and the width. So we're going to start out with set height. And we're going to leave it like that. 
but it, uh, that would be the same as this method right here. But we want to make a new method that also sets the width as well. So we don't make a method that just has one name. We wouldn't call this set width or set height and width. We kind of separate the names. So right after our first parameter, we create a space and we call this one width. And this color will change, by the way, in a few seconds once it realizes that it's a method and not this variable. But this uh, width right here is actually part of the method name, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So now, right after this, we'd have to create another colon, and this will now be our second parameter. So um, this will be called another int, and it'll be the new uh, width. And there you go. Now we have a new method, which is like this set height width and um, basically this is a this is a totally different function than these two here um, even though it has the same name here to this function it's not the same function because we this right here is actually part of the name of the function so to kind of go through this again we have the void return type we have the name of the method or the first part of the name and then right after this colon, we're defining a new parameter that we're going to use. So uh, here is our parameter called int new height. So that's defining the new height. And then if we want to make another parameter, we have to create another uh, sort of a name for this, another name to this method. And basically, uh, this isn't actually a parameter. It's just an add-on to the name. And uh, this, every time you see a colon, that means we're starting the parameter. So the second parameter in this case would be int new width. So this, this is one big method and it has two parameters. And you'll see how uh, you define these methods later on and it actually works quite well. And you might actually learn to like it quite a bit. But if you are semi-confused on this right now, believe me, you won't be. By the time we actually get to using these methods, you'll completely understand how they work. So um, anyway, this was uh, the lesson on the at interface file for classes in Objective-C. If you do have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments below or send me a message via YouTube. And uh, if you do enjoy these tutorials or if you are uh, looking for the latest updates, just please subscribe to the channel and uh, more, uh, more tutorials are always on the way. So see you next tutorial.